Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're over we're going over uh, rephrase. We're going over uh fragrances today and I have three in my collection so far. I've been meaning to make it grow, but unfortunately because I work in the healthcare industry, it's very hard and because I'm allergic to a lot of things, by the way, which is why I get allergy shots all the time. But I love fragrances. It's something I grew up. It was embedded in me. My mother worked with many different uh, fragrance companies from Bond Number no. 9 to Guerlain to Creed to I can't think of. Uh, she's worked for a lot of people. So anyway, so I always pretty much grew up uh, knowing a little bit here and there about fragrances. So let's get right into it so the first one i want to talk about is my all-time favorite this is actually the first fragrance i would have to say that i really really liked at such a young age i was in my early teens when i started um looking into this stuff more and kind of uh admiring what she did uh, for a living on the side so the first one is by angel muggler and i'm reading off my tablet because I can't remember anything sometimes so, so this was like a gift set i actually brought this back in december i did not review it um because to be honest i haven't even used it uh i have a refillable that an extra refillable that the lady gave me along with this gift and i have been using the shower gel which is actually in my bathroom and i'm not going to get it because yeah but i'll show you the box and everything so this is the muggler. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If I'm not, please correct me. But um, the is the Eda Parfum. I believe this one's the 50 ml. Yes. And mine's came with an extra refillable, and it also came with the body lotion, which I have yet to use. And I do use the body, um, the the shower gel. Uh, for the body this is like a little um i guess registration that you could do and get like a couple surprises from the circle uh section muggler the circle so that usually comes with every purchase um you get when it comes to that if you see my camera kind of jumping around it's because it's trying to focus sometimes it gets a little bit annoying i'm not gonna lie because it's been kind of wacky lately so um, in here, it's a big box, so I'll show you the box first. And this is how the box look like. Obviously, it says Angel, it says the Muggler. You open the box, and voila! See, you can tell I haven't used it. So, when I got this, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it just because I said, mm, I don't know if I'm going to use it that often, you know, I don't... You know, I try to use my products when I'm off duty, off of work and things like that. But it's very hard for me to wear perfume most of the time just because I'm in the healthcare field and I'm working like five days out of the week. So it's hard for me to wear these, but which is why I only have three that I'm going to show you today. So this is Angel. That's the refillable, which I'm almost actually halfway done with the extra one she gave me and then I'll start using pretty much the big one um, and yeah so let me close that and then on the side the box reverse so there's uh, the lotion okay and obviously I've been using using the shower gel which I'm probably gonna run out of pretty soon so I'm probably gonna rebuy that but yes I love the smell of this the price if you so they have something similar to this but it includes the Eau de Parfum the perfume brush the body lotion and a hair mist which is actually interesting I did not even know Angel made a hair mist so I'm intrigued getting the hair mist um, and this one is $19.99. I'm actually going to put it up here. So if you guys want to buy that, I mean, that's a steal for four products. That's pretty good in my opinion. Main Accords, and you can find this information, by the way, at fragranta.com. 
com. So what this is mainly um, known for, it's patchouli. It's sweet, it's uh, balsamic, it's warm, spicy, fruity, and woody at the same time, which you usually, it's kind of hard to do that in a fragrance. So, I mean, that's a plus for me. So we're going to move on. The next one that I'm going to go over is one of my favorites. When my mother was working for them, I decided to purchase this one where she worked. And it's one of my favorite, favorite perfume ever. Like, I don't even want to waste this. I probably have sprayed this like five times. I'm not going to lie. Um, because I love it so much. It's more like a collectible piece, if anything. But I definitely want to wear this on my wedding. I definitely want to, like, I, I, I love this perfume. And I'll tell you why it's limited edition. So, this is a beautiful box, by the way. It says Creed there. It gives you the story in the back. So, in this card, it basically just uh, says... You know, the essence and absolute of flowers, wood, spices, and citrus fruit selected, sorted out, and chosen each year by our creator, perfume Oliver Creed. Okay. Our natural as well as our infusions of amberger, ambergris, vanilla, and other fragrances. Um, this composition is a blend of prestigious and rare essence. The method of Mac... Mac Macaration, maceration, and homemade filtration testifies of a house which knew how to ally tradition and quality for 250 years. So that's what that little piece says. And over here is a little note that comes with it. And it pretty much just um, goes over basically like a, a little thing as to why this is pretty famous and known for and why it was limited edition um and carefully pull it out voila so this is the bottle i'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see what a beauty this is as you can tell i definitely do take care of my perfume bottles it's a little dirty but I try to clean it here every now and then okay the the to me this is like a form of art so i mean i just find this bottle so pretty and it's, it's just the quality of everything this little piece right here along with creed i mean the detail in this is insanely nice and you just open that like that and that's the topper Let's see if i could get a there you go Okay, and that's it. And I'm not gonna spray it now, but ooh, yeah, you could definitely smell it from here. So it's a really beautiful, beautiful perfume. I mean, I don't know what else I could tell you guys. And for all of you that don't know if you have a Creed, usually limited editions or the, the regular bottles sometimes, they do come with a lot number. Um, so it's like right there. Let me show you. I don't know if it, it's kind of hard with the light, but if you can see it, you can see it. So this is a very unique piece. I do have to say, um, I enjoy unique pieces and this bottle just captured me all the way through. So that's that. Um, so this is a bottle to keep for a couple of years if you store it nicely and so forth and so forth. So that's my House of Creed for a beautiful, just ugh, exquisite. Next, moving on because I'm trying not to waste time here. But before I continue, I do want to go over. So this one its main touches on the florale it it can it had floral tuberose woody musky rose and white floral in there okay so it is a very beautiful scent it says creed florale is a unique 
new fragrance in partnership with Neiman Marcus department store, which at the time I did buy it from Neiman Marcus because they were only exclusively selling this at Neiman Marcus. Why? I don't know. But it was there. It has notes of rose, tuberose, and other florals and oriental base notes such as amber and woods. This fragrance launched, obviously, in the summer of 2018 and only launched 1,907 limited edition bottles to celebrate the year that Neiman Marcus opened at its first shop in Dallas, Texas. The classic curve Cree bottle will be presented in silver with colorful floral pattern, which you saw, gracing the sides of the bottle. It will initially be available only in Neiman Marcus before launching worldwide everywhere. Um, and it retail, so the 2.5 ounce fragrance will retail for $415. 5% was uh, donated to the heart of uh, NM, a charity directed to nonprofit organizations that specifically provide youth art education. How lovely is that, right? The nose behind this fragrance, of course, yours truly, Oliver Creed. Magnific magnificent and a genius, of course, so definitely a great product next one and not least by any means Guerlain this is the Mon Guerlain for woman okay and, it, and it's our aromatic vanilla balsamic woody and floral that's what it's known for okay uh, this came out in 2017 by the way Okay, and um, it has notes of lavender and vanilla, vanilla, right, which you can definitely, oh, I'm actually going to. So, huh, this is what I did, guys. As you can see, the little one's almost done. Oh, you can smell the vanilla in there. It's just, I just want to spray it everywhere. Spray it. Spray it on the hoe. Spray it on the cat. The cat that I have. Spray it on the man. Spray it everywhere. Just spray it. Spray it. <laughs> Anyways. So, such a pretty fragrance. It really is. So, I got, as you can see, the mini bottle. And the big bottle. This one is 1.0 ounce, maybe? 30 ml. And this one is 3.3 ounces. Yes, 100 ml. So, this fragrance, by the way, both of these are made... In France okay Guerlain and Creed as for Angel I am not really sure so they brought this as a gift actually my father so that was very beautiful of him and obviously I've cherished cherished it enough so these ah oh, interesting okay I did not know that guys so Muggler is actually made in France. Seems like the French are overbearing me with their deliciousness, smoochness of uh, perfumes. I'm guilty. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just going to smell it. must smell like Creed and smell like Guerlain and Angel all at once. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Of these would be... So it depends, because if you get the small one, this is around 70-something, so that's not too bad. 70-something, 60-something around there, depending where you get it. The little one. This one ranges like about 100 and up, I believe. Looks like it. 130, around there. For this one. This uh, mainly, depending on what size, usually ranges like about 70 to 100, looks like, or even maybe cheaper than that. Um, if, the, if you get the refillable, I think the refillable is like 30, 40 bucks or something like that. But yeah, so this is on the low budget end, which you can't go wrong. It's a beautiful fragrance. Then this is the second, the middle budget in between Angel. And your highest budget, unfortunately, it is Creed. Um, 
but Creed is considered more of a luxury perfume line so therefore it is pretty high up there uh, so that concludes uh, the rest the rest of this um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I really wanted to talk about these fragrances because it was bothering me um, I stare at them all the time I don't <sighs> I don't use them all the time unfortunately because I don't really go out much so there's that that's why I don't have a lot more um, a couple mentions I do want to mention out there that are pretty good bond number no. nine has a whole line of perfumes if you don't know about bond number no. nine check them out it is an interesting line and I say that because their bottles are named after different parts of New York City so like Brooklyn Central Park um, things like that so I find it pretty pretty cool that bond number no. nine was able to do that um, bond number no. nine did come out with a lipstick um, that ranges like about a hundred dollars maybe I am curious to try it because it is made here in my home New York and what better way to support your own people that you know that make things here in New York it's amazing it really is so I do want to try the product um, for that very reason so we'll see so bond number nine is a good mention the other one I would like to mention is flower bomb is a really nice pretty um, scent to it I did smell it for the first time a couple years ago I would say when I was told by a friend of mine that that was her favorite fragrance so I did uh, test it out for myself. It was very pretty. Um, I did not buy it though because I, I, I have to be honest, I wasn't crazy about it, but it is a very pretty um, perfume. And then my next one I would have to say, so House of Silage. They have a couple of perfumes. It's like a funny looking bottle. It literally looks like a cupcake. It's like this and kind of like round on the top. So, and it has like a couple of little diamonds or crystals, whatever it may be. Um, there's a couple one out there and that's pretty up there in price. It's around starting maybe in the 300s, 200s around there. Um, but I hear wonderful, you know, wonderful things about it. And I do really want to try that one as well. So there you go. That's my thoughts in the perfume area. Um, let me know in the comments below what are your favorite perfume lines and why exactly. Um, is it the scent? Is it because of the bottle, the art, the creation? Um, some people are collectors and might not wear the perfume for most of the time. Other people enjoy them and they wear them like consistently. So let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed my time. These are the three that I talked about. Again, I'm going to show you again. Angel. Gerlaine and Creed. Watch out for my next tutorial. I am going to do a little mini tutorial on my makeup here. I am wearing no foundation. I've been breaking out a little bit here and there because I am with a face mask all day for eight hours. When I get home, I must exfoliate, do something to my skin because all that oily, oiliness and everything just builds up in there that my skin just becomes so gross. So I definitely do my mask, I do my exfoliation, I do my cleans, cleanser, everything. Um, but yeah, so check out my Instagram story. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel. I do stutter a lot. I do apologize today. My mouth is dry as hell today. So I do apologize. Have a good day.